Yeah, hi everybody and welcome back. This is now May 2019 and uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, current Simpsons release. Thought I'd start with this. This is actually an original Simpsons cell, something I've had for a few years now. I thought it was, thought it was very cute. It's called and Maggie Makes Three. So, just to remind you, you've all seen this coin. This is the Homer one ounce proof that came out a few months back. Very nice. The donut, you've all seen this one with the hole. And the only two ounce coin that's in this series, which is this one here, this only had a mintage of 2000. And all three of these coins have sold out. They sold out within a month from the mint. There may be some at other dealers, but uh, the mint itself sold out very quickly. So, and of course, um, prior to that, we had the bullion release, the, uh, the Doe Homer carded, and the loose coin. So that's been the series so far, up until now. This is the release from the Perth Mint for May. Now, for those of you that don't know me, I live in Perth, Western Australia, and the Mint is just um, a short distance from where I live, so it's a simple matter to drive down and pick up whatever I need. So here's the latest Simpsons coin. So this is Bart. Mint again of, uh, with one ounce of 5,000. And here's the boy. So again, a very um, very nice proof finish on this coin. We've got Bart standing in front of the Quickie Mart, making faces. And again, from the magical kingdom of Tuvalu. Very nice. So that's been the series so far. Now, according to the Mint, the, uh, the next releases are, and you can pre-order these at the Mint. So we've got Marge coming up in July, we've got um, Lisa in September, and we've got Maggie in November. No mention of a Duff Bear can. I was rather hoping we'd see that. Um, there was some talk that there would be a coin. I was looking forward to seeing what that would look like. About 15 years ago, a local brewer here in Australia produced this. <laughs> Their own Duff Beer brand, and of course uh, they were sued by the production company of the Simpsons uh, cartoon show um, for a breach of co uh, copyright. They argued that uh, because the can doesn't look the same as the Simpsons can, uh, it was a different product, and that Duff was some kind of uh, weird Australian expression. So they lost the case. And as a result of that, the beer was withdrawn, and um, not so long ago, apparently a case of that stuff sold for something like $10,000 US, something incredible. I wish I'd have kept a few of those cans. But anyway, that's, that's where we're up to at the moment. So as I said, we're into May. It's uh, mid-May at the moment, so the 7th was a couple of weeks ago. Um, we saw the Simpsons coin. There it is there. Yeah, they've got a Gone with the Wind coin and a few others that have... Come up, some of the high relief kooks, some more eagles. But they've also got this coin here, it's a new aliens coin. And I don't want to call it ugly, but um, yeah, it's, a, it's an unusual looking coin, that's for sure. Um, let me see if I can show you a photo of it. Yeah. So. That's what it looks like when it's closed, and when you open up the, the four leaves, it opens up to expose the coin inside. So I went down to the mint and I took a photo of it, and this is it. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you think that's uh, attractive or not, but it's to me it's a weird looking coin and case. The coin itself isn't exactly um, beautiful, is it? Well, then it's an alien, so I guess it's not supposed to be. But yeah, there it is. It sells for 230 Australian, which is about 100 and 190 US dollars for that two ounce coin. But I think I'll be leaving this one. Okay, so the um, the two bullion releases that came out uh, this month were first of all this one here. So this is the the new mother and from the mother and baby series. This is the two ounce peed fort or pied fort um, bullion coin. 
Apparently the story behind this is that um, crocodile mothers uh, are actually very good mothers. They look after the, the young, they keep them in their mouths until they're a certain age and then when they get older they they take them around the around the water riding on their back on their backs, would you believe? So that's what this portrays. How cute. So this is the second coin in the series. You might remember the first one that came out last year was the koala. So this is it here. Obviously it will be an ongoing series, so it'll be interesting to see what comes up next. They're not a bad price, these particular coins. They're, um, they're obviously just, just bullion. Um, and the price above the current price of silver is, um, is quite reasonable. There's only a small markup. Less of a markup than there is on some of the other BU coins. The other release this month was this one here that um, the only reason I know about this coin is that Sal did a video on it uh, a little while ago. This coin, although it was made by the Perth Mint, was not sold by the Mint here and it wasn't sold within Australia. It was only that one bullion dealer in California that, uh, that had this. Obviously it was a contracted um, arrangement. I'm actually going to take this coin down to the Perth Mint staff and show them because no one's seen this. <laughs> no one at the Perth Mint retail section has seen this coin. So I'm looking forward to showing it to them. The other thing that's unusual about it is that it's, it's a one and a half ounce coin. Um, I, to my knowledge, it's the only one and a half ounce pure silver coin that the Perth Mint have produced. They did a um, tandem gold platinum one the other month, but um, it was one and a half ounce, but I haven't heard of any other silver ones. It fits a standard Perth Mint coin case because it didn't come with this, um, except for the fact that it's too thick. It doesn't quite close, but it's good enough. It'll protect the coin. I don't know what the mintage numbers on this are. Of course, the, the mint haven't published them, and the uh, the dealer in California hasn't published them either. So, um, but I suspect they're quite low. But yeah, they're a nice coin. Everybody loves dolphins, and it reminded me of another dolphin coin that came out from our other mint here, the Ram or the Royal Australian Mint. Put this one out about uh, I don't know six eight months ago. Yeah. It was a nice one as well. Proof. It's almost it was almost a proof finish, isn't it? Although it's a BU. But yeah, so the crocodile and the dolphin were the two bullion coins released this month. Um, oh, by the way, the crocodile one reminded me of the previous croc that came out a few years back. So this was the other bullion croc. One ounce coin. Came out five years ago. Yeah. Um, last month I showed you the new Silver Swan. This is it here again. Beautiful coin. It's done really well. Of course the price has rocketed up as, as everybody expected. Um, and to go with that I have the gold coin now. So this is the gold version of that. Just an absolutely beautiful coin. And again, the, pr the uh, premium is not particularly high. I noticed one of the big dealers was uh, specialing this coin the other day. And uh, somebody else commented that the price was quite reasonable. You know, it's basically a bullion coin. And the price above spot is, is not too bad. If you're going to invest in gold, it's not a bad way to do it. And of course, as a gold bullion coin, it doesn't, you know, it's not going to rocket up in value. It'll be the value of the gold that's in it. It always intrigues me the difference in size between one ounce of gold and one ounce of silver. It's quite marked, isn't it? But there they go. All right, guys, that's it from me today, short and sweet. Um, I'll catch you in another month's time. All the best.